For a solo, the train tunnels are arguably one of the best ways to get scrap and loot. So, inspired by Spoon Kid's video from a few months ago, I decided to take on the train tunnels challenge for myself as a solo. So what exactly is the train tunnels challenge? Basically, I would only be allowed to use the train system to venture around the map, as well as being restricted to only using the map grids that have a train tunnel entrance on the surface. If the entrance was on a grid line, I would be allowed to use both grids either side of the entrance. To get started, I had to collect enough cloth to throw down a sleeping bag in my starting grid, and from there, I was locked into the train tunnels challenge, no longer being able to spawn on the beach. But before we get into it, I'd like to thank today's sponsor. Rust Clash is an online gambling website. There's a huge variety of cases that you can choose to open and the items have a percentage of what you can get. You're also able to 1v1 people in case battles with whoever gains the most money wins. As well as this, there's a rain feature which gives away $20,000 every week. There are daily and weekly leaderboard rewards. The link's in the description to go check it out. So basically, when I've spawned here, I have to go to the closest train entrance and I can't do anything on the way there. I'm going to let myself pick up cloth so I can place a bag in that entrance area. So if I see 30 cloth, I'll pick it up. But other than that, I won't do anything. I need to try and get a bag down. And once I've got a bag down in that area, I can't spawn on the beach anymore. I can't do anything except spawn in that bag and stay within the train tunnel area. If there's a train tunnel entrance or exit that's on like the border of the two things, I can use both those grids. But other than that, I'm uh, restricted to just that one grid. Dude, how am I going to get a bow? What am I going to do here? This is a grid I can use. So I'm going to place a bag here. I can use this grid here. I need to try and get enough for a bow from this grid. I don't know why I picked this grid to go to because it's no, there's not going to be any cloth. Come on, give me a bow, give me a bow, give me a bow. Scripted, scripted. Okay, you would give me binoculars. Just while I'm hitting these barrels, I wanted to let you guys know that from now on, I'm going to be trying to do weekly rust skin giveaways in my Discord. So make sure to go and click the link in the description. Joining these giveaways is completely free. It's as easy as clicking one button. I need to build next to a monument where I can access the recycler because I can't use the recycler anywhere because some recyclers are outside the grid. So, dude, there's a red crate right there and I can't get it. I'm literally already stuck. What do I even do? There's not a single stone node. I can go down to the train tunnels, but I can pray that it's cleared or something, right? Do I just try and run past them? Like try and get to another train tunnels and then run past them again and then get up there? I can get to outpost. The, the next closest thing is outpost. So if I can run past them, I can recycle. Okay, that's good. If I had low grade, that'd be sweet, but I don't, so. Ah, oh, dude. This is the wrong way. I need to go the other way to get to outpost. Shit, now I have to run across the tracks. Oh, dude, I should have gone down the other elevator. I didn't even think. I could wait for someone to clear it out. But that might be, I might be waiting a while. I don't even know. Now, is the door to the left or the right here? It's to the right. I'm just going to send it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This is perfect. This is perfect. They've been a second earlier. The door is the other way. No, maybe the door's... No, what? Where's the door? Uh, it's got to be left then, right? Ah! <laughs> no, where's the door? Oh my God, I'm good at this. If they clear this and outpost and I just follow them behind them, then that's perfect. Here's my body. You reckon they got it? The dogs. Uh oh. They're heading towards outpost. That's good. I collected the leftovers that the group who had just cleared out the station had left behind. To make use of it though, I needed to access a recycler. Unfortunately for me, the outpost was the next station along the line. 
I began running through the tunnel to the outpost, assuming that the people who had just left there had cleared out that station too. I was right, which meant that I could easily run up the stairs into the safe zone and safely use the recycler to get a start going. I placed a sleeping bag down as a checkpoint, and because the station's exit was on the middle of two grid lines, I had plenty of space to farm barrels and a few trees. My plan was to build at the water treatment plant, as the grids that I was able to use there pretty much covered the entire monument, as well as a small area where I was able to build a base, meaning I would have plenty of access to components, PVP, and a recycler, which was essential for this challenge. Once I was finished collecting resources at the outpost, I headed back down to the tunnels and hopped on a train headed for water treatment, which was the next station along. I doubt this will be clear. I doubt this will be clear. I'll just leave it in there. <gasps> I jumped way too early, bro. I jumped so early. I jumped so early. It's fine. Okay, this looks good. This looks good. This grid, that's the area I need to build. Okay, okay, it's looking good. Sleeping bag, get a sleeping bag down here as soon as I can. No! No! Please, I beg you, please! Please, can I get a pickup, man? After dying with what would have been the perfect start, I respawned at my outpost bag and started again. Then died again to outpost seeing me as hostile, so I respawned at the original dome entrance instead. If this is a good crate, I'll go for it. If not, I'm waiting five minutes. That's so useful. That is so useful, that low grade. Oh my God, okay. That means I can just fang it to water treatment and run out. And once I'm at water treatment, I'm good. There's definitely a train tunnel entrance here. Is this the door? Okay, that was good timing. Okay, I'm gonna go to, go to recycler. I need to get this cloth so I can place a bag down and feel so much safer. Oh, we got a bag down. That's good, that's good. Dude, this base right here is exactly where I need to build. I can build here. But it's so close to those other people, those that other two by two. Okay, I need to make a wooden two by one right now. Not even two by one, just one by one. I just need to farm some wood. Go to the fighting, boys. Just go to the fighting. Guys, please. Please, I've got nothing. Please. Please. Please, I'll kiss you. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Why are we whispering? <gasps> what the fuck? I won't pull it out. I won't pull it out. I won't pull it out. Mwah. Bro, what the fuck? Oh, shit. I'm not warmed up at all. I haven't warmed up because I didn't think I'd get a gun. Why did I shoot? After being gifted the opportunity of a lifetime and throwing it away only seconds later, I began to re-establish myself by farming components in water treatment. Ooh, that's actually so good. I need a TC plus like 1.5k I reckon. Please, bro, please, trust, please, just please. Come on, I can't beg enough, please. Shit, 
Oh my god! Fall to me! Fall to me! Oh my god! Look at it! This we have to do. Oh my goodness gracious me. Place this down, please. Oh my god. Well, we got a base down. Oh, decay base. Definitely already yoinked. Anything, anything, anything? Can I yoink this furnace? Yes, we can. I didn't have the luxury of a lot of space that I could use, which meant that farming nodes was going to be difficult. I made sure to farm any that would spawn in my area and slowly build resources up over time. Something that I didn't realize would be much of a struggle early on was the amount of arrows that I could craft. Stone was pretty rare, so I would have to kill people in order to get more arrows to be able to take the train tunnels. Oh, I hit him. Hey, can you come pick me up, man? I'm just trying to get some cops. Nah, I do know how it is, man. I know how it be. You can take the crossy if you want, but... Without any blueprint on the server, I desperately needed as much scrap as possible. So after placing down a level 1 workbench, I did a couple of train tunnels runs for components that I could then recycle. After a bit of time building up scrap, I turned my attention to the 2x2 that was next door to my base, which had a wooden door. You know we're going to keep going. Alright, is it easier if I do machetes? How many machetes is it? Show me the loot. Worth. Actually decent, I'm not gonna lie. It, it might not seem it, but I actually need the stone. I did a few upgrades to the base before hopping off for the night. And then when I hopped back on the next day, someone had taken over the base that I had raided next door. They didn't seem to be online, but I wasn't particularly spoilt for choice with bases that I could raid, so I decided that I would work towards raiding this base again, but this time with explosives. For now, I needed to work on getting more scrap, so I headed down to the train tunnels for some components that I could recycle. I have no idea where he went. I got too much to lose, dude. I got too much to lose. Where? 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 Roof. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't get his crossbow. I'm going back. I'm just going to depot. They haven't come back because they would have collected all this. I killed him down here. I can't go there. I literally can't go there.
I literally can't go there. It's outside the it's outside the zone. I literally can't go there. That's so annoying. Okay, where's this guy's crossbow? Yeah. Oh my goodness, there's so many of you. What the fuck was that? I already depoted. It's real good. I just lost uh, like a, to the crossbows, which is annoying. And then a little bit, which I was recycling, but it's fine. Oh, literally have no idea where they are. That body's got a revolver on it, though. That wall's on the boundary. Why are you there? Fucking rain. So fucking goofy, man. Goofy, bro. Oh my god. I need to go back. I don't know what I left in on his body, but I had to get out of there, dude. But the, the 200 scrap and the revolver and the red card. I now had enough scrap to make a level two workbench, which allowed me to take tree to the Python revolver. So I had a proper gun to defend myself with and take train tunnels with. The plan was to eventually tech tree to the Thompson, but I would need more scrap for that first, and the python allowed me to more effectively clear out the train tunnels for the needed scrap. Three shots. No kill. Oh my god, please give me med pens. Dude, if someone stops here and comes up the train tunnels, I literally should have nades ready and just peg nades down the train tunnels, the sh elevator shaft when they're coming up it. This is my last python I can grab. I've got no more pipes after this. I continued farming nodes that conveniently spawned around my area. However, I hadn't found nearly enough sulfur for when I wanted to start doing some raids. I wanted to use the trains to travel to the snow to farm more nodes. However, first I wanted to get the last remaining scrap that I needed to tech tree to the Thompson. So I once again headed down to the tunnels. Really? He one taps me there? As if he one taps me there, bro. What was my health at? I should have met it again. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Get me out of here! 
out of here, bro. Get me out of here. Oh my God. No way. No way. I actually got back. Oh my God. Bro, that first nade was so fucking poo. This run that I had fortunately gotten home had provided me with enough scrap to tech tree to the Thompson. However, without any SMG bodies, I had to stick with the Python for now. I once again headed down to the tunnels on my way to the snow to find some more nodes. Ooh, a saw, nice. I think I'm gonna go for train yard and try and farm this hill here. Or maybe Arctic and farm all of this. Nah, we'll get off a train. I only have 18 low grade left. Oh my god. That sounds very close to where I am. I don't think they want anything to do with me though, right? If I just quietly recycle at train yard, it's probably this base maybe? I don't know. I need to recycle quite a lot and then I need to farm and then I need to go home. Man phased through that wall. Give me a med, thank you. I need to get nodes. There's a massive raid happening literally just there. Literally just over the peak of that hill and I'm just gonna farm nodes here. There's a sulfur node right there, dude. I think I'm gonna get one or oh, two sulfur nodes here, sweet. Three sulfur nodes, okay, good. That's probably more than I expected, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna head back just because I'm stacked. Stacked on scrap comps, 900 sulfur, it's pretty good. Not only did I get okay farm from this run, it also gave me four SMG bodies, meaning I was now able to move on from the Python. I did a few more train tunnel runs, including one more to the snow to farm and upgraded my base, as well as placed down a level three workbench before hopping off for the night. I was hopeful that the next day would be filled with a lot more PVP as now we had the Thompson. And I certainly wasn't disappointed with the first thing that happened on day three. Oh my God, there's people outside. Oh my God, there's AKs outside, okay. First things first, let's go get that AK. Oh, dude, MP5. This is not a good position. I'm in between the fight, dude. Fuck. I should have had my gun out, dude. I should have had my gun out. Dude, I have no low grade for meds. Look at my low grade situation, bro. Oh no. I want to nab an MP5 from this, so I can research it. Fuck, I don't have a weapon flashlight. Where the fuck is the exit? Dude, I'm stuck down here and they're fighting right above me, dude. There. I actually found that. They would have looted that body. Don't shoot me, don't shoot me. <laughs> ah, 
Get me out of here. Don't shoot me, roof camper. Bro, what is that? Who is that sad? Dude. I had to use all my meds just then. That's so annoying. Would he have seen that light? Body. Give me the body. Give me the body. Give me the body. Dude, there's a guy above me waiting. Oh, that was a full jump scare. Full jump scare, bro. Oh my god. Uh, I got a spare MP5 in the end, which means I can use it. I can leave one to research and still have one to use. Hey, what a haul from that fight, dude. What a haul. We might have lost a Tommy, but this is literally what we gained. This is what we gained. That's fucking good, dude. That's good. Once the fighting had cooled down, I temporarily solved my low grade problem by farming some pigs, then also farmed a few nodes that had spawned around my base. This allowed me to expand a little bit, and I also threw down some electricity with an auto turret that I had found the day before. I then did a train tunnels run to the airfield, which was the next station along, just for something a little bit different. I can't go to that fight because it's outside the fucking boundary. Dude, can all this fighting please come to me? I can't go to you, so please, please come here. I'll start recycling. Someone always sends, tends to get here when I'm, I'm recycling. Uh oh. Fuck, I took so much damage from that. Not ideal. I don't have that many meds. Please have meds, dude. Oh, green card. Blue card. Oh my god, he's actually got a blue card. I can actually do water treatment. I haven't run water treatment properly this whole time. Oh shit. I can't go that far. Bro, I could not see him for my life. I could not see him at all, bro. That's not even him. After losing both of these MP5s, I only had one left, which I wanted to research. So guess what I did to get the scrap?
another blue card. Holy shit. Where'd the Thompson go? Don't tell me the Thompson phased through the floor. Bro, come on, man. Fucking come on, dude. I literally can't get that. That's such a joke. Uh, uh, Alright, you stayed. Sinking further! No! And now, oh, it, it literally fell to the ground. Uh, if I can get a rocket launcher and high velocity rockets. Dude, should I fucking tech tree to high velocity rocket? Because I'll get rocket launcher on the way and then I can do Bradley. And then I get two C4 from a, from a Bradley. And then I can do that for the raid instead. Dude, I've already gotten all of these things. It's 700 scrap. To finish off this wipe, I wanted to raid the base that was next door to me for a second time, this time with explosives. Originally, I was planning on farming the sulfur, but realized it would probably be easier to take Bradley with the sulfur that I had already had, then use the profits from that to fund my raid. All I needed was 700 scrap, and I could learn the high velocity rocket and rocket launcher. one dead. He's picking up his mate. <laughs> Is your mate dead dead? Can I at least have a, like an idea of what I'm dealing with? What did you say? Is your mate full dead? Yeah, he's dead, dude. Do you want me to just dip, man, or what? I'd prefer to kill you, I'm not going to lie. And I'm willing to risk the death for it. Be loaded, be loaded, be fucking loaded. Oh, This kid is so hard to see down here, dude. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Dude, I'm not going to be able to carry this kit. Got it. Nice, dude. Once I had the scrap, I researched the launcher and high velocity rocket, then headed to the launch site, ready to take Bradley. I've got 10 rockets and I only need to hit seven. So it should be G. It's just when the 10 man rolls up. Oh, <laughs> this scary man. A good ending is riding on this. One. Two. Three. 
What's that for? That one hurt. No scope. Okay. Not terrible. What is that? Ladder hatch, camera, and MLRS? Bruh, you're taking the piss. Bro, you're actually taking the mickey, bro. Having gotten less than ideal loot from Bradley, I decided that I would recycle anything I didn't need, which would give me gunpowder. This turned a profit of gunpowder overall, but it still wasn't enough to do the raid. So I made more high velocity rockets and went back to the launch site to hopefully get luckier with Bradley this time. One. I can only miss one more. One more. That's trash. Although, that means I can probably do another. Dude, that's so bad for what I need. Dude, that's so bad for what I need, man. Oh my god, I need to recycle. It might not have been ideal loot from Bradley, but I did get just enough gunpowder from recycling to be able to make four rockets, meaning I was able to complete my goal of doing a raid with explosives. Charcoal! Revolver! Oh my god, it's so loaded, dude. Oh, look at the comps, bro! Look at the comps! Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Flares, dude, that's gunpowder, that's gunpowder. Sulfur, that's huge. That's like one sulfur node worth of sulfur, bro. Oh my God, oh my God. And there's a shotgun trap and a lip. Oh my God, dude. So yeah, I didn't really expect it to turn much of a profit anyway. I had had a pretty successful wipe considering that I was limited to only the train tunnels. And with the leftover loot, I put code locks on every door on the base and set them all to green. Hopefully some deserving naked walked past and found the jackpot of their life.